Hey guys, what's up? It's the Emperor Pro. All right, uh, this is a tutorial for somebody who has forgot his name, like I always do. Uh, this is how to make a chase scene uh, through different maps. Okay, so let me explain the setup I have here. Right over here, I have this little person. Um, this is the person that's going to be the chaser. So where, where it says event name, right here, you're going to name it chaser. Now you're going to check this the box that says switch, and we're going to select chase. Uh, you don't have the switch, just name it. Uh, just you can select any switch you want. Uh, just make sure you name it Chase. Uh, so we're going to say Chase is on. We're going to click OK. Now over here I have this temporary event that starts off, it, it changes the location of Chaser to right here, the starting uh, position. This will only happen once, and I'll explain how. As you can see, it does it teleports the event here. How that works is you do set event location. You can find that in Event Commands tab 2 right uh, under set vehicle locations right here make sure you select chaser now what I have here is conditional branch cell switch A is off and uh, it turns uh, control switches you can actually find that here control switches <coughs> and um, it turns chase on and it also turns self switch A on you can do that by control self switch now over here I have another tab you can make a new tab by clicking new event page. And right over here, I have uh, the cell switch box checked and A is on. And um, make sure that this little temporary event is a parallel process. So after you're done making that event, <coughs> you're gonna go. You're gonna make another one. This is gonna have a parallel process, and you're gonna have it wait 120 frames, and then control switches chase is on. Now on the other page. Make sure they're both parallel processes. You can change it down here. Um, to, again, to get to a new page, do new event page. This time you're going to check the box uh, switch, chase is on. Select chase from whatever you've, uh, whatever switch uh, number that it is. You want to select it. Now we're going to do conditional branch. You can get to conditional branches by going to uh, tab 1 of the event commands and selecting conditional branch. And we're going to do, it's going to look like this. We're going to, okay. Uh, never mind the whole timer thing. So what happened here is, when you get to this, you're going to want to double click this and you're going to make a variable. And it's going to be called position. You can make it any number you want, just make sure it's named position. And we're going to say equal to zero. And we're going to do set event location. We're going to, when it's zero, we're going to make it over here. When it's one, we're going to make it over here on the left. This will um, <clears throat> this this creates a timer, uh, you know, showing like how long it takes the event. Okay, um, to get into the next room. The else thing means if it's not equal to zero. You would do the same type of thing for up and down. Um, so like if you have like a four-way room, you would do equal to zero, equal to one, equal to two, equal to three, and so on and so forth. Um, for now though, just to practice and get used to how it works, I want you to just uh, do this with left and right only, or up and down only. It's you know your choice, just uh, so you can get used to it before you try making um, four-way rooms. All right, so we're gonna click. Oh, make sure you have erase event after it. Uh, this erases the event until you refresh the page. <laughs> it's not like a browser. Um, well, okay, that that will stop this from processing because otherwise it's going to constantly spawn the event there. So on these teleport events, I've added different stuff. First, right, um, okay, so let's say you made a new teleport event. Okay? Uh, what you would do, see, it would normally look like this, but I'm going to explain what I did different. Okay, right after the move, I have a fade-out screen. Okay? Right after the fade-out, and you, by the way, you can find the fade-out and fade-in on tab 2 the event commands. Okay, right after the fade out, what you do is you control switches. Again, you can go to control switches right here. And I turned chase off. And then I have it transfer to the location I want it to go. After that, I change the position to zero because we're going from the right. Um, if you're if you're leaving the map from the right, you're gonna set the position to zero. However, on the other page, if you're leaving from the left, you want to make the position 1. 
pretty much the exact same setup, except for obviously you want to make sure you're transferring to the right spot. Uh, otherwise, you'll end up transferring into the same spot every time. It's going to be confusing. So uh, make sure you you edit the uh, transfer player to make sure you know you're going right where you want to go. And um, again, when you're going out from the left, you want to make position one. And uh, over here, I have the two events copied. Now they're going to be different, uh, the different IDs. So every time you copy this event over to this event, uh, you want to name it Chaser again, obviously. But uh, you want to edit when you copy and paste this one, which is the uh, the timer thing. When you copy and paste this, you're going to have to change this. You're going to you're going to want to select Chaser again. On the other map, it was Event One that was Chaser. This one, it's Event Five that's Chaser. And they probably will be different every time. So you want to make sure you edit this uh, whenever you copy and paste it. Make sure it's always set for Chaser. And uh, make sure your positions are always right, too. And all together, that creates this. Hi! Fucker! Fucker! What? What? Oh. Hi! Ah, son. You can see there's a delay, and she comes in. So that's pretty much how you would do like multiple room chases. Nasan, Nasan, Ferkins, Nasan. Oh, that was terrible. No. Oh. I'm slick, son. What up, man? Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Do 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 do